my channel today I decided that I am going to film a little vlog it's probably gonna be a vlog over the course of like the next few days maybe but I started reading powerless about two and a half weeks ago and I still have not finished it yet because my issue when it comes to reading books is I'll start reading a book I might get like halfway through it and then something will come up where like I'm out of town or I just don't have time to read so then I don't pick up the book for like a solid week or week and a half so then I have a hard time finishing the book because I took such a long break from it um, but I started reading powerless at the beginning of August and I have been really enjoying it I'm a little bit more than halfway through let me see what page I'm on I'm on chapter 34 which is page 289 and I have been loving this book so far but since I took such a big break from reading it, like I haven't touched this book in like, it feels like two weeks, but it's probably been like a week and a half or something or a week. So I hope I'm still into it. I just, oh my gosh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to like finish books. I think it's because when it comes to reading, I have to kind of schedule out like a whole day <laughs> for reading, if that makes sense. Because if I only have like one hour to read, that's not long enough like that's not enough for me to like become immersed into like the world again i need at least like three hours of solid reading time which is hard to find time in the day to like do that so i think that's my issue but i really want to finish reading this book this week I'm honestly not really a fast reader but i have been listening to the audiobook at the same time just because i like hearing other people's voices when i'm reading but i'm gonna try to read the rest of the book without the audiobook and today it's a very gloomy summer day like it seems like it's fall outside right now so i was like this is the perfect day to read so i'm gonna finish reading this book i think i have like 200 more pages to read but if you have read powerless let me know your thoughts on it i also want to read the next book in the series but i heard that the next book I think it's called Reckless. I heard it's like not as good. Like I heard there's not really much of a plot. So I don't know. But anyway, let's just, let's start reading. this past weekend and I went into a candy shop and I got this freeze-dried nerds and I kind of ate like the whole thing last night <laughs> it's actually really good and it was only five dollars for this container the skittles and the jolly ranchers were ten dollars though so I didn't buy them I haven't had the jolly rancher ones but they looked huge um this is it focusing this is what the nerd ones look like. They're pretty good. Obviously, very sweet because it's like candy or it is candy, but it's better than I thought it would. Kind of random but not super random because if you've seen one of my other videos that i posted about me doing pull-ups this won't come as a shock but basically i want to get more into calisthenics training and i haven't been working out for like the longest time i am not consistent like i hate going to the gym blah 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 i canceled my gym membership a long time ago but calisthenics is something that i can easily do at home and i have like a pull-up bar and i basically just have to start with the basics of calisthenics like push-ups pull-ups I don't even know what else, handstands, stuff like that. I kind of wanted to document my journey a little bit, so I guess I'll just like put that in this vlog. I don't even know. So yeah, I just have to show you guys like where I'm at with 
pull-ups because if you saw my pull-up video that I posted several months ago, um, I was able to do, I think, 10 pull-ups or was it 11? I forgot how many pull-ups, but it was around 10 pull-ups and I cannot do 10 pull-ups anymore because I haven't been practicing. Um, I also haven't been doing any sort of workouts, so I cannot do 10 pull-ups, but I know I can at least do like maybe two pull-ups, I don't know. I was kind of practicing last night, but I'm sore today, so. This is the starting point. Oh, I'm sore. Oh, see, that was hard. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Okay, that's three. starting point okay and push-ups is a whole nother story because that's something I haven't done in a really really long time I'm also whispering because my dad and my brother are sleeping already okay so I'm gonna do some push-ups I haven't done push-ups in a really long time and the thing is is that for some reason I thought that I actually couldn't do a single push-up because my triceps are so weak I can't really keep my arms within shoulder length apart if that makes sense like this i can't really do a push-up like this because it works on my triceps too much and i am just so weak in that area or in that muscle group so like my whole life i've always just done push-ups that are further apart so i think it works out more your chest so why am i out of breath so i mean like sweating i'm just gonna do push-ups the way I know how to do it, just because I'm, I already know in my head that I can't do this. So I'm gonna do ones that are like further apart. Wow, I'm sore. <laughs> Say hi to mom, Kai. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, please go over there. Okay, actually totally fine if I'm bad because that just means more improvement. That was probably really sloppy. Okay, 10, but my arms are like really far apart. But hey, that's still a push up. So that's my starting point. Oh my God, am I sweating? Wow. Okay, guys, it's actually the next day, and right now I'm gonna pick the giveaway winner. If you guys didn't know, I announced a giveaway in my last YouTube video. So you're gonna watch me select the winner in this video and, and I'm gonna announce the winner on my Instagram and also on YouTube. So let's see who the winner is. These are some of the products that I'm giving away. There's like a bunch of like lip stuff, lotions, sunscreen, I don't know, like a bunch of skincare and makeup. So I'm really excited for one of you to win. So for my very first giveaway, which was like when I hit 400K on TikTok, I just hand selected the winner. So I like went into my comment section on my TikTok and I like did this and like just like closed my eyes and selected someone and then that was the winner. But for this one, I think I'm gonna actually use an app to do it. So I think I just copied the link of my YouTube video and then it'll go through the comments of that video. Why am I nervous? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, it's selecting. Okay, who's that? That's the winner. 
Roxanne or Roxy. Okay, congratulations, you won the giveaway. Okay, it's a good thing that I used the app because I didn't realize that I actually can't see all of the comments on my phone, but then when I switched to my laptop, I could see all my comments. So it's good that I used the app because I feel like it was more fair because I couldn't even see Roxy's comment on my phone. So she wouldn't have even won. So anyway, congratulations, Roxy. I will probably be shipping out the package. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna ship it out before this video is even up, but today's Wednesday, August 21st, and I plan to ship it out probably tomorrow or Friday, but I'll announce it on my Instagram and I'll like contact you directly. So yeah, this is so exciting. I'm just gonna post an Instagram story. I don't know, should I like do a selfie? <laughs> <clears throat> Ew. <laughs> anyway, now I need to go to the store because I've been wanting to try that cucumber salad recipe that Logan posted about. I haven't even seen his videos like on my For You page in a really long time, but I've been seeing everyone else's videos talking about his cucumber salad. And I guess there's like different kinds. So I have to figure out which one I want to make and then get the ingredients for that because I want to film that on TikTok today. So... Man, he has like a million cucumber salad recipes. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do that one. Okay, I might do this one. What did he add? Soy sauce, sesame oil, MSG. I am... I'm gonna have to leave the MSG part out because I... I can't actually put MSG into my food. If someone else puts it in it, I'll eat it. <laughs> but I can't physically go to the store, buy MSG, and cook with it. I don't know why. It's just... I can't. Whipped chive cream cheese. I don't even really like cream cheese that much. Like I never eat cream cheese, but I'm probably gonna make this one. Whipped chive cream cheese. Okay, obviously gotta add cucumber to my list. <laughs> Could you imagine if I like went to the store but forgot to put cucumbers on the list so then I just didn't get the cucumbers? Cause honestly, that is something that I would do. <laughs> I am so forgetful when I enter the store. If I didn't write it down on my list, I'm not getting it. Capers. Do I like capers? Capers are sour, right? <gasps> that actually looks so good. Okay, and avocado. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm excited. Okay, let's go to the store. I'm like really bad at vlogging in public. So I say, let's go to the store, but I'm probably not bringing you guys with. <laughs> okay, wait, before going to the store, I also need to make a list of what I need to cook tonight for dinner because I just realized I don't think we have any food at home. So what am I gonna make for dinner? Okay guys, I just got back from the store, so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. Um, I got some baby dill. Got some wild caught salmon for dinner tonight. I decided that I'm gonna make salmon and like a really simple plain pasta. I got capers, a little card for the giveaway winner. An Olipop, root beer Olipop, it's my favorite. And then I also wanted to try the poppy wild berry flavor because I saw so many people trying it when it first came out, but I didn't see it in stores. So I'm excited to try that. And then cucumber, obviously for the cucumber salad, lemon for the pasta. I got two avocados, red onion, and then the chive and onion cream cheese. Boom, 50 bucks. Look at this card though. It's so cute and it has like texture. It feels like it's like, um, like woven on, but it's not. Does that make sense? Whatever, it's super nice. So I think right now I'm gonna film my TikTok for the cucumber salad. And then after that, I'll probably have to start making dinner right away because um, it's already like four o'clock almost. Time literally just escapes me. So you guys are about to see the behind the scenes of me filming a TikTok. <laughs> I'm nervous. Sometimes you just have to eat an entire cucumber. <laughs> this cucumber looks so freaking huge. We're trying one of Logan's cucumber salad recipes. I'm doing the chive cream cheese one. Okay. I have to be really careful with the mandolin because the last time I used this, I made ratatouille and I did chop off part of my finger. So I have to be really careful today. Also using a little bit of red onion. Oh my gosh, those are so good. So I'm gonna start shaking this now, but look how full it is. Mm. 
guys, this is delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm actually like starving right now. These cucumbers make me so hungry. So I'm gonna eat these actually like with my dinner, I think. So I'm gonna start making the salmon and the pasta. Um, but I'm also gonna film that for TikTok because I film like all of my meals on TikTok. So yeah, let's start cooking. I'm so hungry. <laughs> better than like alfredo and any other pasta i've made it's the cream cheese okay guys here's my dinner the pasta i just added random things to salmon and then the cucumber salad i just made like two hours ago guys it's a little while later and right now i'm putting together the giveaway box i basically just wrote this card for the giveaway winner and then now I have to transfer everything from this box to a little bit of a bigger box just because this box right here will not shut <laughs> so I'm gonna do this really quickly and then hopefully I'm not gonna send it out tomorrow I think I'm gonna send it out on Friday yeah <laughs> box is all packaged up and ready to get shipped so I'm really excited for her to receive it and right now it's like eight o'clock so I think I need to practice my push-ups and pull-ups so I was looking back at the footage of me doing the push-ups last night and it looks like I was doing push-ups on my knees but I promise you I wasn't I was doing real push-ups it was just the angle it kind of made me look like I was on my knees but I wasn't also I was wearing sweats so anyway I'm gonna see how many I can do today which I'll probably be able to do the same amount as yesterday since it's only been a day and I haven't done any other exercises. Okay, here we go. <sighs> My arm cracked. I'm gonna start with doing the wide ones like I've been doing and then later on I'm gonna get to the the more tricep focused ones but I just can't do those right now because well let me just show you well I'm already tired so I definitely won't be able to do one I'll be able to go down but I can't come up yep 
guys so it's currently 12 18 and i just got home from watching my grandpa and i haven't eaten anything yet and i'm starving so hungry but the crazy thing is that i'm so hungry but like nothing really sounds good um oh well that's way too short <laughs> um i think i'm gonna make uh maybe good to eat for breakfast can you guys comment like good breakfast ideas down below because i don't have any ideas i just eat like the same stuff like every day oh toast and scrambled eggs oh avocado toast oh potatoes oh blah 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 oh nothing okay actually i haven't had avocado toast in a while so i think i am gonna be making avocado toast i feel like i've had avocado toast on this channel like so many times but who cares i'm starving <laughs> I know, that's not how mine turned out. Wow, that looks so perfect. She must have lots of years of experience. I love sourdough. Sourdough is so good. Oh my gosh. I like, don't even want to cut it, it's so perfect. Mm. 
Yeah, the bread is really good. Really good. So this past weekend, I went to Lake Chelan with my friends and I parked my car at my friend's house and I parked under a tree and I had no idea that the tree had sap. So when I got back, there was sap literally all over my car. It was actually crazy. Um, so the next day I went to Ace and I got this Goo Gone stuff because they said that I could use it on my car. It got it off, but it didn't completely get it off. Like there's still like this residue left over. So my dad has this like clean warrior spray and he used it on my windshield and it actually got off like the rest of the residue so i have to put this all over my car but first i have to test to see if it's gonna take off the paint of my car i don't think it will but i have to do a little spot test with this on the body of my car and then i'm probably gonna spend the next like probably at least 30 minutes taking off the rest of the sap sap is so annoying <laughs> By the pond? Oh, yeah. Mm. Cute. I'm gonna put it by the pond. Okay. Like I told you guys earlier, I am really bad at reading. So I still have to read like 90 pages. I just bought on Amazon Reckless, which is the second book in the series. So I'm excited to receive that, but my plan is to finish Powerless today. Also, I have been listening to the audiobook. Because since I started by reading it with the audiobook, it feels weird to like read it with just my own, with my own self. So I am going to be listening to the rest of the book with the audiobook. I listened to it in like 1.4x speed. See, even though there's only 90 pages left, it says it's going to take 3 hours and 6 minutes to finish reading it. Which I think it would probably be more like 2... Two and a half hours maybe because I am reading it in like 1.4x speed, but still. But I'm on chapter 50, which is page 399. And let's begin reading. Also, I went to Icicle Coffee and Chocolates in Leavenworth. And I'm eating these, these toasted coconut dark chocolate thingies. They're so good. And they're like not too, too sweet. Look at that. It better be good because this was two dollars for one and i bought five so i spent ten dollars on just five little chocolates but they're very good mm. and it's not every day that i'm in living with so it's worth it
Hey guys, good morning. I'm quickly getting ready for the day. Um, but I did want to update you guys about last night. I did end up falling asleep <laughs> at like 7. So I took like a little like 40 minute nap. And then I finished reading Powerless. And oh my gosh, guys. So I already told you that I purchased Reckless. And I think it's coming today. And I'm probably going to start reading that tomorrow. Because Powerless ended on such... A cliffhanger I just I have to pick up reckless right now I'm so excited but if you guys have no idea what powerless is about it's basically first of all it's like a fantasy romance but I feel like it's not super super heavy on the fantasy part like there's powers and stuff but it's it's really easy to understand so if you're not really into fantasy but you like romance I think you would love this book but it's also very slow burn I've never really read a slow burn romance novel but I understand what they mean by slow burn now <laughs> okay let me take this out I'm telling you, morning showers just hit so different. I didn't shower last night because I didn't really do much yesterday. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shower in the morning. And I don't know what it is about morning showers. I think it's because we have like a little skylight in our bathroom and then like showering with the natural light just like feels so good. I don't know what it is about it. Also it being like in the morning and it just wakes you up. It just feels so, so freaking good. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do look a little bit tanner than usual because I went to Chelan twice. I love Lake Chelan. Anyway, back to powerless. So basically in this world, there are people who have powers and people who don't have powers. And the people who don't have powers are called ordinaries. They're supposed to be killed. And the main girl, Peyton, doesn't have any powers, but she's been faking it like this entire time. The love interest, which is the prince, he is the future enforcer. So he's supposed to do all of the killings. And so basically like if he finds out that she's an ordinary, he's supposed to kill her. You guys can already guess, they kind of start falling for each other. And there's like so much stuff that happens. There's kind of like a Hunger Games scenario going on with like these trials and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to like give away <laughs> anything, like any spoilers, um, but yeah, just freaking read the book. It's so good. And I honestly can't believe that this is Lauren's first novel. Like that is crazy. And I think she's only like 20. She's like in her early 20s. Um, she might be my age. And this was her first, like, first book that she ever wrote. And the second book's already out. So I cannot wait to read Reckless. Even though I feel like Reckless is not going to be as good as Powerless. But I don't care because now I'm like attached to the characters and I just need to know like what happens. But yeah, I highly recommend the book. I would honestly give it like a 4.5 or 5 star. I probably would have had a different experience reading it if I actually read it all the way through without taking breaks. But since I did take a break, a few breaks of like no reading, um, I feel like that kind of messed with my experience a little bit. But the fact that I was able to like pick up the book and easily get back into it i would say that this is a good book like there's just always something happening it keeps your interest and your attention so that's what i love about it and i did run out of listening minutes on spotify because that's where i was listening to the audiobook um i actually did find that i do like reading on my own with my own brain <laughs> and not have someone read to me um because i read a little bit faster when i'm the one reading instead of like listening to the audiobook obviously because like they're taking their time reading so yeah i feel like with reckless i'm probably just gonna read it for the most part with like my own noggin oh and in my last video i did mention that i wanted to get a guitar and i thought i was gonna be getting it in this video but i think it's probably gonna be in next week's video because my sister wants to go with me and so we have to come up with like a time that we both can go i think i might be going I'm gonna ask her if she wants to go tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. So I feel like that would be like a good day to go. Yeah, but I know like nothing about guitars. So this will be interesting. I've been wanting to learn guitar for a long time now, but I mentioned it to my mom and my mom knows how I am with like starting new things and how I don't like finish them. So she's like, don't just get things just to get it. She was like, are you sure you're gonna actually play the guitar? Uh, yeah, cause I'm gonna like self teach myself. Self teach. I'm gonna teach myself how to play. So hopefully that goes well. Okay guys, I just finished getting ready. Okay, this Glossier perfume, the Glossier U perfume, they actually sent this like travel size thing to me. Oh my gosh, not sponsored, but this stuff, this is like my favorite perfume ever because when it comes to perfumes, I feel like a lot of perfumes are too strong. Like. I don't even want to put like a whole like spritz of the perfume on my body because I feel like it just smells way too strong. But with this perfume, it is so like light and fresh that 
I will put like two or three spritz, spritzes? Two or three sprays. Two or three sprays all over my body. And it just smells so good. Like one time the other week I sprayed this on my body and then I went into the car with my brother and my brother was like, do you just shower? Like that is the type of scent this gives off. Like just like a clean, fresh, beautiful scent. And I've just never smelled a perfume like this before. And it is called the Glossier U Perfume. So I think it smells a little bit differently on everyone. I'm almost out of this travel size one. So I have to go buy the big bottle, but yeah. Highly recommend this perfume if you're looking for a lighter scent that's like super fresh and just, I don't even know how to describe the scent. Just like fresh. It just smells so good. Anyway, that's my little perfume tangent. Now I think I'm going to go to the post office to drop off the giveaway package. And then I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the day editing. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'll be getting a guitar. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, bye.